guys. It is quarter of 11. We're in uh, Winooski, Vermont, which is just north of Burlington. And um, John and I here are gonna live on our bikes for four days. Um, yeah, I'd pick it up to show you, but it's heavy. <laughs> We're, um, what is it, 256 miles with 24-ish yep. thousand feet of climbing. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm running the uh, Lauf True Grit. Got the tent in the front, snacks and uh, tools and what you and whatnot in the frame bag and some clothes and sleeping bag in the saddle. And uh, what do you got over here, John? Uh, it's also a Warbird. Uh, salsa EXT pack in the front with most of my sleeping gear, GoPro on top, hammerhead, salsa top tube, Revel 8 half frame bag, and then another salsa bag in the back with some Hell climbing yeah. gears, Shimano GRX, and more water than I know what to do with. <laughs> yeah, I think our bikes are weighing about 40-ish pounds, yep. so uh, we'll see how that goes on the hills and i um, going to get some food and some beer and whatever else we see along the way. So. Um, here we go. We are making our way to Waterbury and Stowe, Vermont. That'll be our first stop, grab some lunch, maybe a drink, and, uh, Go from there. some single track 20 miles in don't exactly know where we are but we are out here starting to drizzle there is some rain in the forecast hopefully it holds off and uh, that's it that's all I have to say Twenty-five miles in, about five-ish miles away from food at Prohibition Pig Barbecue, baby. Gonna uh, fill my pockets with brisket. Just eat that for the rest of the trip. Yeah, it's humid, so we're sweaty now, and then we'll have the meat sweats while we're on the bike. Yeah. yeah. We got some brisket tacos, full round. He's sipping on the guava. Yeah, Haritos in the bottles only. Sipping on the uh, tiny little clouds or something. It's an IPA, you know. 30 miles in. Next stop is Stowe. <laughs> first real climb here it's a uh, 17% grade it's a little bit of a grade you know 40 pound bicycle all right we left pro pig like seven miles ago and we just climbed what was that 1200 feet yeah 1200 feet and seven miles 1200 feet and seven miles so uh, we're spiced up we're ready to go we're making our way to Stowe that rhymed This, 
there's really something about a covered bridge, you know? Oh, I've seen... The area? That's where we're heading tonight. Um, not in this area. Uh, if you go into Main Street and supposedly you take a, a right and um, you stay to the left... We're going that way. Uh, I just, I saw it coming down the hill and I... By happenstance. You, can, you gotta stop at a covered bridge if you see okay, one, you know? Can you, can We are climbing up the top to the Von Trapp Brewery and Inn in Stowe, Vermont. And uh, it's a fucking serious climb. Hey, that's gravel. It's gotta be gravel. At least the beautiful views make up for it. What do you think about that climb? Insane. Worth the uh, photo op, I guess. Ooh. in the closed road. The famous last words of John Stenning, we'll be fine. I'll try this at home, kids. Paula Palooza. They got us on mountain bike trails. <laughs> Guess we're mountain biking, folks. This one down a um, downhill mountain bike track, so there's that. dogs breathe <laughs> hang the shoes on the hook we made it to idle time in uh stowe vermont mile 55 ish mile 55 i'm having a focal banger we got food on the way then we're just gonna be back at it until we don't feel like riding anymore and find a place to camp snacking on a rodeo burger this dude's got a reuben rick reuben <laughs> Heading back out after dinner and gonna stock up on some snacks before we head out into the night. Got a CBD seltzer and a little uh, meat Bison. stick. Bison meat, dude? Bison, yeah. Actually, this one's beef. Barbacoa inspired. Inspired? Yeah. So the barbacoa like talked to it and like encouraged yeah. it to do something? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We'll get some, get some protein in before we go to bed. Just about 70 miles and we came across Lost Nation Brewing and they are being nice enough to let us stay here tonight. So, can't really see, but we're gonna be comfy cozy right on this grass patch right here. And uh, my guy up there doing the dishes. We got our tent set up. We're gonna have a snack. Got my beer. Eating my meat stick, you know. What the hell? Let's call it this jerky, dude. <laughs> That's it for the first day. We did like 70 miles with like just over 5,000 feet of climbing. 
so. Six a.m. day two. Don't really know how many hours I actually slept, but we're uh, gonna pack up and <laughs> gonna brush my teeth and um, yeah, gonna get at it. Don't forget to brush your teeth. Look at this foliage. Ever heard of it? Officially on the road. 7:23 a.m. Gonna go to Dunkin' Donuts and uh, you know get a coffee and uh, maybe a little breakfast sandwich, maybe a donut. Who knows? America runs on Dunkin'. Got the uh, dude. There's 420 calories in this. 25 grams of protein. You know. Yesterday, 69 miles. Today, 420 calories in this. That's what it's all about. You know, the one thing about Dunkin's coffee is it's hot enough to melt steel. Nice climb, warm up the leg. 13% grade for breakfast. Just stocked up. They didn't have a fast break, but Reese's Big Cup. And of course, the Bernie bar with a liberal amount of sea salt. Okay, it's good, it's great. But well, Bernie's progressive, all right? Liberal is selling him short. So I'm sure he signed off on this, and it's I great would to see so. it. But obviously, <laughs> progressive amount of sea salt doesn't sound as good. My mouth is full of pumpkin donut. As is mine about to be. Center, Vermont, eating a classic sandwich and chips. Sloppy ass roast beef. Okay, so we've been climbing this insane rocky hill and I'm trying to get going again. Okay, we're clipped in. Okay. Okay. Go straight. Straight. Okay. All right, we're back. This is called like something mountain road, I forget. It's covered in wet leaves, a shitload of rocks, and it's like a 15% grade average. And I don't know what I'm doing over here. I think we're at the point where we gotta push because kick it enough momentum with a 40 pound bicycle going up a wet leaf covered rock trail there's a little flat spot maybe I can try and remount you can watch me instead maybe that's more fun oh Jesus you're an asshole Okay, I guess we're pushing. So the key here is don't lose momentum, otherwise you're gonna have to push up the whole fucking hill. I just ate a roast beef sandwich at least. 
I put the chips in it. You ever put chips in a sandwich? That's the move. If you don't put chips in your sandwich, what the hell are you doing? My back hurts. John's ahead of me. Looks like he's also ranting to himself on his GoPro. Crazy. Covered with leaves. Tons of rocks. Heavy bike. Big puddles. <sighs> Fuck. Crazy shit. Love it. Okay, now we're pedaling again. That's good. Still quite slippery. Pretty wet up here. As you can see, lots of leaves. Lots of rocks hidden by leaves. At mile 37. And at about 4,400 feet of elevation in 37 miles. I said 37. Look, I'm a little tired and delusional. But, holy shit. This is amazing. When you have nothing else to do but ride in a day. When day is just focused on riding. Eating, obviously, and then sleeping at night. It's kind of hard to get a good night's sleep, but I'm feeling good. A lot of water. Just watch me try and get going for the comic relief here. 12% grade. Ugh. Rocks and leaves. I think we gotta walk this section. Uh, okay. This is a class four road. Covered in wet leaves and fucking rocks and mud. And it's raining. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Hey guys. I guess it could be worse. Like, I wouldn't be on my bike. I'd rather be on my bike doing this. You know? Shift, please. Thank you. Shifting. I'm in the water. We shifted. So we've been going up for this, what well, seems like an hour. We're 44 miles in day two. That puts us like 110 miles in total of the whole route. We've got a shitload of climbing today. 5,131 feet of climbing, 44 miles. We love it. Oh no, my shoe got wet. Snickers bar and a beef jerky. The Maple Corner store in uh, Calais, Calais, Vermont. The sun is out, looking good. Penny tap room, Montpellier. Gonna have some dinner. Whew. We got a chicken, sh or no, I got pork, sh pork schnitzel, tater tots. What we got over here chicken salad, pickled onions. No, pickled egg. That's not an onion, <laughs> that's an egg. 
and tater tots. Hell yeah. So we're gonna eat this and then go like another 20, 22 miles and hopefully sleep under this covered thing at some park we found. So before it rains. So we'll see how that goes. Good old Hill Street. Yeah. We just had dinner immediately into another crazy climb. We're moving along. There's a fucking turkey. We're gonna go find camp before it rains. Stay tuned. So this bridge is closed, but this bridge uh, about 10 miles past Montpelier is closed, but we're walking. I'm gonna tippy toe across. Hopefully our bikes aren't too heavy. So far, so good. Just gotta get right to here. Right. I'm in the middle, I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle. All right. Lover's Lane Bridge is closed. But FYI. It's passable. We're in between two covered bridges right now. It might be a portal. What the? Woo! Riding our bicycles into the night. Trying to find camp somewhere. Oh. You ever ride your bike in the pitch black in the middle of the woods in Vermont? This is what fucking Stephen King writes about. <laughs> well, we climbed over 8,000 feet so far. So that's how that's going. So the camp is further away than we thought. We just crossed 9,000 feet. It's like eight at night or some shit. We're in the middle of the woods in Vermont. <laughs> what a day. the uh, store run of the night. So it's quarter of 10. I'm in my tent, got my dinner, and uh, John's right there. Hi. We're sleeping under this like pavilion, I guess, in like a soccer field. <laughs> So uh, hopefully we don't get kicked out. It's been a day. So uh, gonna eat my protein bar and hopefully sleep. Nighty night. It's day three, seven something in the morning. We This is where we slept last night, underneath a uh, pavilion in a soccer field and it ended up pouring, so it's a good thing we had this cover. Got Lincoln Gap today, and uh, some rain and thunderstorms in the forecast, so we'll see how that goes, so stay tuned. Day three officially started. Field. Having some breakfast while we charge our stuff. That's all. Time to warm up.
Lincoln Gap, which is uh, supposedly the steepest paved mile in the U.S. So, Godspeed. Here we go. It's just a hill. Oh boy. Uh, it's right here. Woo. Uh. Eat my bib shorts, bitch. Okay, the bitch part was aggressive. Just shy of 2,500 feet elevation. The highest we've been. Elevation wise, not, you know, but uh, yeah, 20. I think I saw 26% at one point on my something like that. Hammerhead, when you have a 42 46 steering and you're doing like 40 rpms going two miles an hour on a 40 pound bike, that's no joke. That's some watts, baby. I don't have a power meter, but well, that was the hardest part of the whole thing, yeah, baby. and uh, we did it so. Yee! try to finish the whole ride today so um, what's that only like 50 more miles yeah. got a big thunderstorm coming through so we've been lucky so far so gonna eat this and hit the road all right we ate our lunch and now we're uh, making our way back to Burlington 55 miles
five hours on the bike, 60 miles for the day. Yeah, we're gonna push through. It's starting to rain a little. I think we're gonna finish on day three. Hopefully, we wanted to do this in four days. I guess most people do it in five. We're gonna do it in three. See you soon. Okay, well now it's fucking pouring out. We have 35 miles to go to finish the whole thing. And uh, of course, it held out the whole time. Now I'm getting absolutely downpoured on. This is what it's all about right here. It's just a little rain, ride your bike. Four thousand feet of climbing. I'll have to give you the uh, the full tally, but uh, goddamn, what a ride! We're gonna go eat some Thai food and then I'm gonna sleep for like a day. You. Don't forget, baby. It's just a hill. Look at that. Yours are, <laughs> yours, yours are gnarly, dude. Okay, so we finished and uh, it's still raining. We're in a parking lot with a little bus stop covering. Brian is drying off with a sweatshirt because it's all I have. This is a nice little, I mean, it's nice wood. It Vermont is. does it right. Toes are fucked, hands are fucked. I gotta stop swearing. <laughs> Just bleep it out. Fuck it. Okay, don't. You're, you edit it. Um, and yeah, we're gonna go grab some food. Soaking wet, disgusting, but uh, feeling good. Feeling great. 
and did it in three days instead of four. Most people, I guess, do it in five. Some people, not that it's a competition, but next time we'll do it in two. So yeah, if you wanna do this with us, hit me up. My email is john at itsjustahill.com and we'll set it up. We're doing it in 2022. This isn't the end of the video, probably not. No, that'd be more. We'll be in the restaurant and driving home and just like the Greylock video, we'll get Big Macs. Yeah. Talk shit about Brian when he's in the restaurant. Call McDonald's the restaurant, one of my favorite things to do. Okay, no more talking, bye. The final stop, Thai Smile in Waterbury, Vermont. Gonna eat this mound of uh, chicken pad thai and then drive to my mom's house and sleep. Decaf left, regular right. Decaf left, regular right. It's very challenging work. 